Hello Cancer and welcome to your February 2021 love reading. This is a general love reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Just take what does, leave the rest behind. And I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Okay, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified whenever I upload new videos and do my giveaways and the shout outs for my winners. Don't forget to smash that like button. Feel free to share my videos. The larger my channel grows, more giveaways and larger giveaways that I will be able to offer. And feel free to comment below if this resonates. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels, spirits, and guides. What is the energy surrounding cancer for February of 2020? What is the energy around cancer in February of 2021. I said 2020 at first. 2021. February 2021, please. Man, don't want to repeat 2020, though, do we? Okay, we have love. The lovers. Wow. And we have the Hierophant. Somebody's getting, somebody could be getting hitched. Let me just tell you. There, there could be a wedding or at least an engagement. I do feel like that there is a love connection here. Somebody is making the decision in love to take things to the next level, to the next commitment. If you guys are already committed, living together, maybe there's an engagement ring. Or maybe you guys are just going to run off and get married in February. Who knows? Let's see where this goes. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, messages, and guidance in love for February 2021 for Cancer. Sun, rising, moon, and cross watchers. Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides, clarity, love, messages for Cancer. February 2021. What messages do you have regarding love for Cancer in 2020? 21. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords reversed. We have the Lord of Scepters reversed. Six of Knives. Six of Scepters. By the way, this is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, or I mean Aries Leo Sagittarian energy. <clears throat> we have the Two of Knives. And we have the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. Okay, so far on the board, we have somebody who's got their get out of jail free card. Okay, I think somebody was really caught up in their head. A lot of racing thoughts. Somebody had a more of a negative mindset. But transitioning into calmer waters, a little bit more peace and tranquility here. Some and you know, really having success in moving forward, finding that peace, finding that harmony. And some and you know, the two of swords is that peace of mind now. The emperor, somebody feels like that they are on top of their game. Somebody's in control again. Somebody's found their power. Somebody's laid the foundation. The emperor is the builder. Somebody is building a solid foundation and finding that peace of mind here. And they are leaving the past negative self-talk, the negative energy of the past behind them. We have the justice card, Libra energy. We have the... Prince of Grails.
we have the five of knives reversed and this is Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy here and we have the five of grails reversed the tower scorpionic energy so I, you might you could very well be dealing with a Scorpio and we have the strength card Leo energy okay so what we have um, we do have somebody again moving out of that mentality that victim mentality that being trapped that being caught up in the head because I feel like somebody may have somebody was angry somebody wanted vengeance okay and that vengeance mentality for somebody breaking their heart somebody speaking lies and maybe it, it caused a lot of upheaval here this um and somebody kind of had to take a step back and look at things in another mindset somebody i feel as though needed to go within and really do some soul searching here in order to free themselves from this energy to allow themselves to release the regrets release any kind of remorse or re or anything like that and to let go of ego that's what this is somebody had to let go of their ego in order to move forward and have success and have that peace of mind here and you know as you're moving forward there is somebody that is not going to be happy about the situation i do feel but i'm getting like the get out of jail free card here with this tower i feel like somebody's being liberated i feel like somebody's feeling free okay we do have again we have somebody is doing this for peace of mind somebody had the willpower and had the strength to move forward okay Okay, we have the the ten of the ten of grails with the eight of swords reversed. That is somebody who is like finding their own happiness. Uh, they somebody figured out the key to happiness is to break free of this energy. Um, we have the Lord of Knives. Gemini, Aquarius, uh, and Libra energy. We have the devil card here with the justice, Capricorn energy. And we have the seven of, um, the seven of uh, wands with the Prince of Grails. Yeah, I think that somebody had to finally stand up on their own two feet. Somebody had to pick themselves up after a major fall. And somebody had to change their mindset so we got two really strong nights here two nights that are talking about i get this very angry feeling very vengeful feeling somebody is very vengeful somebody wanted justice and this was a very toxic type energy a, a, a toxic mindset it like really held somebody back for quite a while daughter of scepters with the um You know, we have the Daughter of Scepters here with the Six of Knives. So somebody is finding their passion, finding their courage. Somebody is moving forward on a new path. They made that decision to do so. And we have the Eight of Knives here with the Six of Scepters. You know, somebody's definitely having victory. Somebody is breaking free here. Um, eight of this is Eight of Wands energy. This is somebody who's very blocked and very guarded. So I do feel like that somebody is being successful. Somebody may have been a little bit guarded here. We have the Ace of Skulls here um, with the Five of um, with the Five of Knives. You know, somebody is starting on a new path, of some of a new beginning. Somebody is seeing the door of opportunity, and opportunity has opened up, and it's because somebody's changed their mindset. And the moon reversed here, Cancerian energy with the five of um with the five of grails. You know, 
some you know there may have been some things that were hidden some secrets here a lot of emotions and somebody is like getting out of their head somebody i feel like this is about healing here um and somebody was grieving over something something that was lost somebody was very confused over this loss but i feel like that clarity has come to them they are going to be successful somebody has found love again is what i'm getting here and we have the daughter of skulls this is an opportunity okay you know somebody has found peace there's been some kind of peace offering there there's somebody has found that peace they find the practicality somebody is moving forward you know maybe in a cautious manner and but however somebody is definitely moving forward somebody's changed directions okay we have the three of knives reversed here with the emperor somebody has found the courage somebody's healing okay um i feel like you're healing from a broken heart here we've got the chariot your energy cancerian energy um with the tower and you know your tower fell and everything came crashing down but it was also a sign of things for you you are now moving forward and rebuilding you are rebuilding a life you had the strength and courage to do so. It took a lot of strength, strength and courage to walk away from the rubble that was left of that tower falling. And as a result, um, you're able to walk away from this with dignity. Um, and you were walking away. You walked away from this. This energy is behind you. You're no longer letting it affect your life at this point. And I feel as though that you are making the decision that you are ready to commit yourself. You're ready to give your heart to somebody again. Um, Ten of Skulls, this, you are building your foundations here. Um, you're feeling more stable, more secure. You want to build a family life here. Prince of Skulls, you're moving forward slowly. But the, the, he is the slowest but most loyal knight of the deck. Okay, he's cautious, he's loyal, um, he is moving forward. Okay, it's he may not be the fastest knight, but it's about the um, it's more about the stability, and you know, it's like the case of the rabbit and the turtle, you know. Um, And we have the fortune card. Your fortune is Jeff, definitely changing. Things are moving in the right direction for you. Two of skulls here. Um, there, so you are definitely, I think that you, there is a decision. Um, there is this, um, you, you're done teetering back and forth, okay? Uh, I do feel like that things are coming back into balance for you. You're done with the balancing act. Things are leveling out, things are calming down. New love is coming in. And this seems like destiny. Okay. Destiny being fulfilled. Magician. You may have manifested this. Or somebody may have manifested you or both. But I do feel like. Yep. Yeah, there's your queen of scepters. Okay. There is a beautiful new beginning. This is about moving forward with confidence. I'm feeling like this is your energy here. That you are have this newfound confidence this newfound courage and strength you found that fire that fire is lit again and you are moving forward and there's definitely new love lord of grails somebody's coming to you to offer you their cup beautiful energy here holy spirit angel spirits and god clarity messages and guidance please for answer February 2021 Okay, we got religious factors 
in the reverse. So, um, you know, in the upright, it reminds me of some religious factors getting in the way. But I feel like you guys are going to be on the same page. I feel like this is a spiritual connection here. And as you're getting it, it is safe to love again. And, aha, uh -huh, new love. So you do have a new love again. And your spirit is saying it is safe to trust this person. It is safe to give your heart to somebody. It is safe to love again. So you are finding love again. And it, and it feels like it is going to lead to a long-term commitment. And I'm feeling potentially marriage. Okay. Cornucopia. Wow, one of the best cards in this deck. That is speaking of abundance. Wow. You are going to be so loved. There's so much love and abundance coming your way. And your strategies are working. You strategize on how... It's like you thought about this. There was a strategy to you, um, to your methods. It took some time to work through your past and everything that you were um, going through. But you've detached yourself with the detached reversed. Detaching yourself from the past, embracing the abundance of the future. This card kind of wants to come out. Details, details. I get the sense of planning. Planning and strategizing. Okay. Um, there may be some contracts and stuff like that. I swear this is going to be a fast moving. This is going to be a fast moving relationship. I think you're going to be running down the aisle before you know it. Um, moving, getting past the mountains. Um, you see the mountain has his mouth open and going through it. You are going to get through. You're, you're getting through the mountains. Things that served as obstacles. And it is restoring balance. It's bringing about harmony. And encouragement. So look at this message from Spirit as encouragement. The Spirit is encouraging you to relax. To take that chance. That there is this new love coming in. It is safe to open your heart. It is safe to love You've been through the healing process. You've been, you've went through, I think you went through a lot of different stages here, Cancer. You went through regret. You, um, you beat yourself up about it. How could you let yourself fall in that trap? Then you went through the anger stages, wanting to lash out. Very bitter, very vengeful, wanting justice. And, you know, as time went on, you went through the different stages of grieving. And now you're getting, reaping your rewards. Things are coming to you. And... You are ready to love again. That's what I have for you. I thank you for watching and see you later. Love you all. Blessed be.